We've just crossed the border from Portugal. And our first city stop here in Spain is Seville. Welcome to Spain. <laughs> On this travel guide, we're going to be heading to some of the most picturesque, popular places you won't want to miss. First up, let's explore Las Setas de Sevilla. Imagine like waking up in the morning and then boom. How cool is that? The entire structure is made from wood. It claims to be the largest wooden sculpture in the world. Thanks so much. Thank you. Gracias. Three euro each. And two free drink. And up the top, you'll be greeted by this view. Walk along the rooftop walkway. It's 150 meters by 70 meters with towering 360 degree views, 26 meters high. It was built in 2011 after the council announced an international competition and a German architect won with this design. Seville, or Sevilla as the locals call it, is a hive of activity, except for one day of the week. Everything's closed. This is midday on a Sunday and everything is closed. So we've decided we're going to hire some lime scooters. All right. <laughs> Seeing the city by lime scooter is awesome. Swing past the Seville Cathedral, a UNESCO World Heritage Site built in the early 16th century. You can also walk up the bell tower. It's more than 100 metres tall. And just opposite is TripAdvisor's number one voted attraction in Seville, the Royal Alcazar. Explore the palace and its delicately manicured gardens. Or keep going. <laughs> that was fun. Except it was a bit bumpy at the start. Until you reach my favourite spot, Plaza del España. In English, it's called Spain Square. Unlike the shops, you can visit 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Flamenco is embedded in Southern Spain's culture. If you're lucky, you'll spot a passionate performance at the plaza. Seville is home to some of Spain's finest flamenco musicians and dancers. For those wondering, the plaza was built in 1928. The bridges over the moat represent the four ancient kingdoms of Spain. And each painted tiled alcove represents a different province in Spain and small bookshelves are on each side for people to put information or books on their region. Look at that. It gives you a bit of a taste of what it would have been like, like hundreds of years ago in this region. Literally across from it is one of the most beautiful parks in the city, a public park which stretches along the river. Embedded is the Museum of Popular Arts, the Archaeological Museum and the Royal Pavilion. It is just so beautiful. The monuments, the palaces and the gorgeous botanic gardens. During the trip, everything was going grand up until it's been a bloody disaster the lime scooter just won't lock we've been going around in circles for like 45 minutes because john can't lock his it's saying that we're in a prohibited area when clearly we're not pretty disappointing so just a warning if you are hiring a lime scooter there are areas close to monuments you can't park as they get in the way our scooters must have had just some sort of software issue. We ended up having to call Lime in the USA. I copied the, the screenshots showing our location. They fixed the problem, but it was painful. We did need a little bit of a cheer up. John's looking at buying a sombrero. <laughs> no deal. How much are they? 10 euro. 10 euro? I have to mention also in summer, particularly in July and August, the average top temperature is 35 to 36 degrees. It is hot and it is dry. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, oh my God. Ah. I think we need more of those around the city. I think today is about 35 degrees. Yesterday was about 38, 39 degrees. Also, make sure you get lost in the colorful and narrow alleyways in the Santa Cruz neighborhood. 
or even jump on a horse and carriage. There are a couple of Spanish traditions that are worth mentioning. One is bullfighting. The famous ring in Seville can hold a crowd of 12,000 people and tours do run daily. Another tradition, as mentioned earlier, is flamenco. There are plenty of shows to choose from. I've listed references, websites, and maps in the description below to help you navigate your way around. If you find them helpful, please give this video a like. Also, if you're looking for a bite to eat for breakfast, I can recommend this place. So many delicious treats. So as you explore, get lost, enjoy the architecture. How beautiful is that building? Tomorrow, we're trekking to Gibraltar Rock, which is a two hour drive away. So in less than 200 kilometers, we'll be in British overseas territory. Wow, it's a long way down, hey? And then our heart rates will soar at Caminito del Rey. Oh, it's such a long way down. Oh God.